Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's Blood and Venom, Variant 5. This is Chapter 2 and Quest Number 2, the last quest in the chapter. And I'm going to show you the path that I consider to be the easiest path uh, to help you get your initial clear done with the least amount of resources used. So uh, this is the team that I went in here with. Now, it's not quite, if you look at the uh, Spider-Man stealth suit, it's only a four star. At the time of recording this, my stealth suit Spider-Man is on defense, so I wasn't able to get the five star. But in the gameplay, you'll see that I have the five star available. So before we get into the gameplay, I wanted to point out uh, the champion requirements. So for this quest, you can only bring in a mystic, a symbiote, or a Spider-Verse hero. Those are the restrictions. But as with the previous quest, we have someone who is a beast for this chapter. So let's get into it. All right. So uh, the path that I consider to be the easiest path is this one right here. We're going to veer off to the right and head to that rhino. Now, you'll notice that both of these two left paths have the one star chest, but I don't like fighting Mr. Fantastic. Just find him annoying, he evades. It's just really annoying. So I try to avoid him. So you can see the nodes that we're dealing with. This one has a bleed vulnerability. So it's perfect for Black Widow Clairvoyant, but Carnage would work just fine. You don't need to bring in someone who is, you know, that, that puts on a lot of bleeds. It just means that if you do choose to bring someone that does bleeds, you're going to go a lot faster. Uh, the fight will be much easier. So Black Widow Clairvoyant and uh, Carnage come to mind. All right. So all we're doing here is fighting Rhino like we know to fight him. You know, we put a bleed on him and just go to town. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, very easy. Now, what I should have been doing here with her, and I'm still not used to fighting with her, uh, but I should have been doing more heavies. Uh, when you do a heavy, even if it does not connect, it will put bleed debuffs on them. So, you know, like at any point in time, if he's doing something, if he's firing off a special, I could do the heavy from across the room and still apply the bleeds or just parry him and hit him with a bleed. But we didn't do that. But as you can see, we're not having any kind of difficulty with this Rhino. So that's the first fight down. Now, if you watched my last video for uh, chapter 2.1, you know who the MVP was. Well, guess what? He's still the MVP. He is the MVP for the entire chapter. All right. For the same reasons. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But that arcane torrent makes Dr. Voodoo a beast. OK, so on this path, there are, you know, pretty simple defenders. You can actually go in here with other champions other than Dr. Voodoo. I find it hard to recommend anyone other than Dr. Voodoo because he's so good. I would even recommend a four-star Dr. Voodoo over uh, other five-star champions you may have simply because of what you see here. Now, in these nodes, there were, um, I think, advanced abilities, so they'll fire off their abilities more often. But the thing that would catch a lot of people is that the combat um, power rate is reduced by 100%. Basically, what that means is that you're not going to be gaining power the way you normally would. So if you just look at that node, you'll be like, oh, man, that's horrible. OK, but because Dr. Voodoo and the Arcane Torrent synergize so very well, as you see, he's gaining power other than hitting or being hit. So 
that doesn't stop anything. And you can see how fast he's gaining his power. That's because of the global. So if you don't go in here with Dr. Voodoo, then uh, you want to basically play around that node. Okay. Uh, just realize that you're not going to gain power normally, but you can start blocking. If you hold your block, you gain power that way. So um, Dr. Voodoo is not the end all be all. He is the best option in my opinion, but you can do it with a variety of other champions. Uh, pretty much anyone on my team could do these fights. Um, it wouldn't be as fun and uh, uh, spectacular as Dr. Voodoo is doing it, but you can do it. You know, Black Widow Clairvoyant could have done uh, these fights. Uh, so could Venom. But uh, Dr. Voodoo does so very well. And keep in mind that Arcane Torrent gives him extra attack based on the number of buffs that your opponent has, I believe it is. And he's just going to keep cycling his special threes. Now, the other reason that I really like um, Dr. Voodoo for this is because I run suicides. And because I run suicides, I don't really want to fire off many special ones and twos. Not what I want to do because I'm going to take recoil damage every time I do that and I'll be killing myself. So by firing off a special three, which does not uh, incur any recoil damage, I, as you can see, my health, uh, we can stay up. We can stay uh, close to topped off. You know, not not perfect, but close to top it off. And after or at the beginning of every fight, Dr. Voodoo heals a little bit. All right. Now, one thing that you want to do when you're looking for the easiest path, uh, this path, especially if you have Dr. Voodoo, is going to be your easy path. But that doesn't mean it's the only easy path. Uh, what you want to do is you always want to look at who you're going to be fighting on that path as well as the nodes and also any globals and whether they synergize well with any of the champions you have available. All right. So um, now we're fighting uh, Magneto uh, House of X, as he has been renamed, and it's going to be the same thing. You know, we don't care anything about his specials. We don't care any of that stuff. Now, you see how he was holding block and gaining power. So you have to be careful with that um, because if they hold block for too long, they can go straight to a special three. Fortunately, the AI isn't that smart and doesn't try to do that. So you want to play somewhat aggressively. All right. But um, Dr. Voodoo, as you can see, look at that. It's back to a special three. So even with this uh, four star, uh, you'll be able to do the same thing. Um, but like I said, um, it's just a different play style. Uh, if you choose to go in here with someone other than Dr. Voodoo, or if you don't have a Dr. Voodoo, even as a four star, um, I don't know if I would bring a three star in here, but uh, a maxed out four star, I certainly would. But if you go in with someone else, just remember on this path, you just have to hold your block to gain power. <clears throat> so it's just a little bit of a different um, play, play style. But we don't have to worry about any of that uh, when we're fighting with Dr. Voodoo. So um, that's pretty much how all of these fights go. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of your way and let you watch the next couple of fights. It's not that long, not like the uh, previous one. Um, we only have a few fights left um, until the boss. And then I will come back and we'll talk about that boss, how I tackled him, and how you might want to tackle him as well. So uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes.
All right, and we're back, and that didn't take long at all. Uh, Dr. Voodoo just tearing folks up all along this path. All right, so we're finally at the boss, and it is an OG storm. Her specials are easy to evade, uh, so I'm going into this fight full of confidence. All right, you see we still have the Arcane Torrent. That's the global uh, and we've got adaptive, arc overload, aspect of evolution, basically nothing that concerns us. So you've seen what Dr. Voodoo can do with that arcane torrent, okay? So I figured we're gonna be cycling special threes without any difficulty here, all right? Bait out a special, all right? And we're getting up there. Um, we're, we got our special three, so we just need to bait out the special one. And what was that? Ooh, you just don't know how that ticked me off. You know, I'm just like, okay, I just need to bait out this special one. Then I'm gonna fire my special three and we're gonna go into that rotation and take her out. But no, that's not what happened. Um, I'm not gonna complain because people don't like it when I complain about what actually happened there. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Uh, I brought him in here. As I mentioned before, you do not need Dr. Voodoo, even though he is, in my opinion, the best option in this chapter for the majority of fights. Uh, but uh, if you don't have a Dr. Voodoo, uh, you can do these fights with someone else. And you're seeing me here tackling on the boss with a Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Okay, that power drain is very, very annoying, but Fortunately, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced doesn't really need to fire off a lot of specials, all right? He just wants to build up those poise charges and go to town. I did manage to get a special two off, and just look at that damage that's being done. Uh, I love Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. He's still one of my favorite champions to fight with, uh, even though I don't get a chance to use him a whole lot these days. But in this quest, there was no way I wasn't going to bring him, even though I knew Dr. Voodoo uh, could handle himself pretty well. All right. But as you can see, Starkey is just ripping her up without any difficulty whatsoever. And of course, I had the rest of my team ready in case he fell. Um, but he didn't. Instead, it was OG Storm. All right. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully it helps you in your initial clear. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.